we took a 6,300 pound Mercedes-Benz all-electric SUV and then loaded it up with passengers and cargo, raising the curb weight to over 7,000 pounds and decided, hey, why don't we drive this to Los Angeles, California? 3,000 kilometers. We're leaving our halfway point of Medford, Oregon on our way to San Francisco for episode five. Good morning. We're uh, just leaving uh, Medford, Oregon right now. Earliest departure we ever had. We got out of there at 8.45 a.m. We're getting an ETA of 4 p.m. into San Francisco today. I used the EQ intelligence this morning to actually route everything. I figured out yesterday that the slow charge we experienced on the way down when we saw in Springfield at the target was a byproduct of me not actually entering in the navigation that we we're going to a DC fast charger. I instead just use the address for the target. So the battery didn't get preconditioned and therefore the vehicle did not accept a high speed charge. This is meant to ensure that the battery never overheats and also helps to maintain the longevity of the battery. This time though, I did things a little bit differently. When I used the EQ intelligence this morning, it actually told me to only make one stop and then arrive into San Francisco with 20% charge. I actually added two stops because I did not think there was any way that we were gonna go for 222 miles without stopping. So I strategically found uh, two Electrify America charging stops and we're using both of those charging stops along the way. One of them happens to be at a Safeway parking lot. The other one happens to be at a Walmart parking lot. The first one's at 11.22 a.m. We can get a little bit of an early lunch. The second one, we can stretch our legs, use the washroom. And the third stop is going to be in San Francisco. And we've set up our route to actually drive into San Francisco through the Golden Gate Bridge. It's going to be a beautiful drive today through Oregon and then crossing into the state of California. Okay, we just charged up in Redding, California, another subdivision area called uh, Anderson. Uh, it was in a Safeway parking lot, lots to do, lots to get. We went to 100%, the EQ intelligence were telling us we didn't have to because we're stopping in at about 60 miles. We have to get a new USB stick because the one that we were using for the dash cam stopped working for some reason. So we're gonna stop there and uh, the kids are gonna have uh, a little bit later lunch because there happens to be a high speed charger there. So that's our next stop. We'll check in with you guys when we get uh, there. We arrived at the Walmart in Willows, California that happens to have an electric Electrify America ultra high speed 350 kilowatt charger in their parking lot. We arrived with 77%, charged up to only 94%. We were there for about 12 minutes, including the hookup time. Ran inside the Walmart, got the media equipment we needed. Mona ran out and got the kids some food. And here we are now on our way to San Francisco. As we continue to progress towards San Francisco, the temperatures drop from as high as 35 degrees Celsius down to 15 degrees Celsius. That's a 20 degree swing. The battery needs to be maintained at an optimal temperature to maintain optimal range. The cooling and heating system is set up in such a way that there are two individual coolant lines. One coolant line will circulate around the entire battery and through every individual cell of the battery to maintain the optimal temperature. The second coolant line will actually run around the motors and that will help to maintain the mount motors at a lower temperature so they never overheat. Batteries when they get too hot will become inefficient. The same could be said for batteries when they get cold. And as we continue to progress into the San Francisco Bay Area, we did not see a variance in our ETA of range as a result of the temperature swing. We are on the Golden Gate Bridge. So nice. Look at this, it is beautiful. We have made it to San Francisco. Left this morning from Medford, Oregon. 580 kilometers today. That was an epic feat. And I'm happy to report that the kids are all getting along and my wife and I are still married. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. We are going to be arriving at the hotel in 4.6 miles. We're going to go visit the Fuller House tomorrow. Full House. Because Sophia the house and Julia of Full house. and Charlie love watching Full House. They love it. Fuller. Fuller. They watch Fuller House. Full House is mommy when you and, and I mommy were. And, yeah, Mommy and Daddy used to watch Full House because we're a lot older. Dad, Daddy, yes. it looks like you're 100. <laughs> I looks like I'm a hundred years yeah. old. I look pretty good for a hundred. Did everyone have a fun drive today? Yeah. Everyone yeah. enjoyed themselves? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my back's hurting right now. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Julia. Yeah, like Always adding the drama. Right now. <laughs> oh yeah. Now your back is hurting too, Charlie. Yeah. Uh, okay.
And here we are at the Weston St. Francis in Union Square, San Francisco. The EQ Intelligence estimated that we were going to arrive with a 49% charge remaining. We arrived with slightly less at 46%. Pretty impressive considering the fact that we traveled nearly 600 kilometers today. It only cost us $22.57 US to charge. That's the sum of both charge stops that we made along the way. We also made the trip a little longer than usual by adding San Rafael as a waypoint. That was so we could come in on the Golden Gate Bridge. Looking forward to the overnight charge here at the Westin and looking forward to carrying on to San Luis Obispo tomorrow. Join us for the next episode when we travel to San Luis Obispo. The scenery is beautiful and it's just an epic drive to enjoy. Please like, turn on your notifications and subscribe to our channel. We'd love to hear your stories.